Hello, so we're going to take a look at the lighting effects of the Moonlander keyboard. So I'm just going to basically cycle through each one and um, add a little bit of commentary. There's a few points that aren't really clear in this video, so hopefully I can expand on that and the voiceover. Uh, so these first few that we're just cycling through are the rainbow animated effects. So the only thing you, you do is you just set it and they just carry on animating away and you can choose a different animated pattern here. So they look great, especially as you see the colors sweeping from one half of the keyboard to the other. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great party piece. In reality, it's a bit distracting. I'm not quite sure if you'd want to live with it on your desk doing this, uh, but definitely good to show off. So you can see I'm actually hitting the five key there, which is the key I've got set up to change the animated pattern here. And um, the other key I've got set up for this is the four key, which I'm just hitting there. That actually changes the hue value. And you can see that particular effect didn't respond to that. Now this one's an interesting one actually I thought it responded to the hue value but it isn't what I'm actually doing is just pressing the key and it's this effect is actually behaving like a heat map so the more you hit a single key the warmer that color goes so I thought I was cycling through by hitting four repeatedly but actually it isn't it's um, the effect is just that the colors go towards the warmer colors as you hit them repeatedly this one I actually skipped far too quickly it carries on and goes down a bit like the matrix screen with the dropping characters going down the keyboard that was um, what that one was and this is just a fixed color and you can change the hue value on this one so you can see I'm hitting the three key to cycle back through the hue cycles there same with that one so this is a reactive one where it lights up the keys and the keys around the key that you hit in the color that you select with that hue value and this one obviously is giving you a sort of vertical and horizontal extension from the keys you hit and again it's it's um, you know you select the color hue using that key here's a fun one so you hit a key and it, it gives you a rainbow sweeping effect right across the whole keyboard from the ones you you hit and this is the same kind of animated pattern but a fixed color which again you can choose by cycling through the hue values this one just gives you two sort of complementary colors again you can cycle through the hue on those and then we're back towards the rainbow effects but instead of an animation it's a fixed color but again you choose the the position of that rainbow by cycling through the hue keys now we've got some other sort of uh, fixed color ones that you select with the hue values uh, using some different animated styles This is the Knight Rider effect. You probably want that one in red. These sort of sweeping rotating ones are really cool. Kind of like a wave pattern. And then back to the rainbow ones. So if you haven't checked out the other videos I've done on this keyboard, please do that. Um, I've gone into some good detail there. And I'll see you in the next one.